This is William Patterson University Television. Hi, hello guys, welcome back to Room Report. I'm Juwan Funes and I'm here with Erica Namani. Today, the Celebrity Catch-Up is discussing the topic celebrities falling in love and out of love. And I think I have to get things started with R&B singer Tamar Braxton, who's made headlines for the last two years over major breakups. In 2016, after serving three years as a co-host on the daytime talk show The Real, Tamar Braxton was fired from the show with reasons that still remain unclear. This year, however, a more personal breakup has happened for the actress. After nine years of marriage, Braxton has filed for divorce from husband Vincent Herbert. The breakup came as a shock for fans after dropping her last album, Blue Bird of Happiness. According to TMZ, Braxton is adamant about putting an end to this relationship, despite Vincent's willingness to salvage their marriage. All of this drama is expected to be covered on the next season of the Braxton Family Values reality show, but is this something people want to see? I mean, guys, there's a kid involved here. Oh, he looks just like his dad. So <laughs> cute. It's so sad, though. I don't want to see something this sad on reality TV, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And just, it's just, I think it's wild, especially when it's just people you've known to be um, together for so long. Like, right. can you imagine if Angelina and Brad broke up and then we had But this, they did. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you imagine know, if we no, saw I mean, it on Brad, reality TV. I mean, imagine yeah. if they broke up and we saw this on reality TV, step by step, the crying, the fighting. I'm like, yeah. do I want to see the Brad, and then the Tamar and her sisters arguing in, like, vo um, vocal ranges. Ha, 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 I hate oh. you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, but I think a lot has to do with because celebrities are like, when they do these reality shows, they feel pressured that they have to kind of let their personal life show, because a lot of people think reality shows are scripted and fake. So they kind of want to show something to let them know, no, this is real, we real people. And then they want people to see that we go through stuff like you too. So it's kind of like that side. And then I kind of understand from the audience perspective, like we don't want to see something like this, like this kind of drama. I mean, the last like, time yeah. Tamar had drama and I wanted the juice on it was when she got fired from the real. Yeah, I mean, I wanted that. to know, like, did it have mm -hmm. something to do with Lonnie Love? Did it age you alone? Like, but did, we never really got none. She but I mean, like, hush, I did hush. see like some like rare interviews, like rare footage of like mm -hmm. me, the Asian girl Jeannie Mai was talking about how she didn't like how Tamar was somewhat. They kind of like bully her because see, one time it was on the show they had a talk with about children, and Jeannie Mai doesn't have any children. And she kind of felt like Tamar was very insensitive to her about that. Yes. So it's like stuff like that and, that went on behind the scenes. And I know with her, hu well, her husband right now, she's filing for divorce from him. There was talks about, I think you were talking earlier to me about it, about their own reality show covering yes, about it. Yes, um, they're actually, their season is, I, I can't remember. I think next is, when is this supposed to premiere? But yes, season five of Tamar and Vince is going to premiere on WeTV. Oh, and I just think that's wild, the thought that's of That's crazy. Yeah. I'm just like, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're going to be separate and on the same show? But I mean, Tamar and Vince always had like drama. Like, I don't know. They always did, because I even heard that she fired him just before she got fired off of the reels. She fired him as her manager. So it's just too much. I mean, it's and just so I, much. And I'm hearing like, you, and I'm thinking about all this drama, especially with breakups. But then I'm hearing even more drama about makeups, Erica. Like, oh, uh, I mean, as we know, breakups and makeups seem to be one of the biggest topics among celebrities. The sun split between Selena Gomez and her boyfriend The Weeknd shocked fans, but that was nothing compared to who we found she has been spending time with recently. That's right, Justin Bieber is back in the picture and has Jelena fans hopeful that their past relationship will rekindle. Let me break it down for you guys. As you all know, Selena and Justin were dating on and off for years, but their last split was in 2014. Last month, Justin rep Ooh. reportedly visited Selena's LA home. On October 29th, Selena and Justin went to brunch. The next day, news broke of Selena and the weekend split. On November 1st, Selena was seen cuddling, bike riding mm -hmm. with Justin, and later that day seen wearing his hockey jersey. Their last sighting was last Sunday when they went to church twice Ooh. in one day. I mean, maybe they're praying for this relationship to work. <laughs> but a source told People Magazine that Justin said he knows what he did was wrong in the past and understands that Selena deserves better. He wants to be with her and will do anything to prove he can be a great boyfriend. I mean, I figure Justin is the one to be saying, if I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. But do you think Selena is really saying, if you're ready, come and get it? Na 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 na. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't I'm, know. I'm liking how you were feeling the emotion as Erica See? was talking about it, and I had to just die about this, the concept <laughs> First of, all, of, of it all. This is what washed up people do. 
okay? Because, you know, I ain't trying to be rude, but you know when he was out there, you know he was feeling himself, and you know you know how guys act when they act. But now it's like it's different. He's older. It's not now the same. Now that he's done having his fun, yeah. he's yeah. Yeah. Come now back. all of a sudden he like, oh, yeah, let me come back in. Like, no, like, I feel like this. Once you move on, Leave it there. Leave it there. Don't mm -hmm. come. Don't go backwards. Like, okay, we she don't have too much drama with the weekend. It was fine. How you just gonna all of a sudden leave the weekend? Be like, oh, to get with my aunt. No, yeah. And first of all, and just extra. to look, just to look bad, Ugh. just to look tired. No. He looked so tired. Don't he looked like Hollywood. Um, a hum a tree. I, I mean, he looks. He looks ran down. He only 24, 23. <laughs> I, I mean, he does. Compared to what point, he looked like at 13, so now. Oh my God, at this no. point, I think they just deserve each other because they just keep going back and it's just confusing everybody. It's, it's the, what? It's, it's what? Just, it gets, <laughs> You're oh speechless. My, no, I am speechless. It's just a simple <laughs> fact that I thought she was doing better. Now we're going three steps back. You know, I'm wishing them the best. All right, guys. But this has been the Celebrity Catch Up. And we might be catching up with them some more in the following week. Up next, uh, I'm going to be here with special guest, SFA president, Wyatt May, to talk about the latest viral sensation. Um, it's going to probably burn my tongue, guys. In the One Chip Challenge. Stay tuned for that. Oh, my God. <laughs>